Okay, in this video we're just going to do these uh, three examples, a salary increase, a price increase, and then comparing the fiber content of two types of bread. So let's start with example one, a salary increase. Um, a person's yearly income of $27,000 is increased by 9%. What is the dollar amount of the increase? And then what will their new salary be? So by all means press pause and figure it out yourself and then check on the video. It's always a good idea to try this yourself. Um, so I mean even you know press pause and just give yourself say three four minutes and if you want write out the question and then try and figure it out on your own and then check the video because it, it's through your own thinking that that's how you learn is, is, is your own thinking not just um, not just copying, so to speak. Okay, so I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. Now I'll uh, I'll go through it slowly. So if you have any questions, hopefully they'll be answered. And by all means, you know, skip the video ahead and check your answer if you like. Okay, so they have twenty seven thousand dollars being paid annually. It's going to be increased by nine percent. What we need to do is. Don't we need to get 9% of 27,000 to find out what the increase is? Now 9% of course is 9%, 9 per 100, 9 over 100. And 9 hundredths as a decimal is this, 0 0.09. So that's 9 hundredths. You've got units, tenths, hundredths, right? So 9% is 0 0.09. We, we always change percent to a decimal and then of means multiply and so it's 0 0.09 multiplied by 27,000 that's how we get 9% of 27,000 right okay so uh, we'll calculate that um, where will I do it yeah here it is 27,000 times 0 0.09 that's yeah, kind of a funny one I guess 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 0 is 0. 9 sevens is 63, whoops, 63, and carry the 6. 9 twos is 18, and 6 is 24. Now we look at the decimal points we have in the question. I have one, sorry, two decimal places in the question, so I'm going to have one, two in the answer. So my decimal point in the answer goes there. So that is two four three zero two thousand four hundred and thirty dollars, right? So this is what the increase is. What is the dollar amount of their increase? The dollar amount of their increase is two thousand four hundred and thirty dollars. and so that's the first question answered. What is their new salary? Can you do that? Press pause and find their new salary. Press pause and find their new salary all by yourself. Okay, so I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now, just in case you need help. You take the old salary and then you put the raise onto it, add the raise onto it. Okay, zero, three, four, nine, two. So this is the new salary. Twenty nine thousand four hundred and thirty dollars. Because you've you've taken the old one and added on the raise, right? Okay, hopefully that's clear. Now let's try example two. A store increased the price of a carton of butter that sold for two dollars ninety eight. They increased the price by four percent. What is the new price and then round to the nearest cent? Okay. <coughs> So by all means, press pause. Give yourself three or four minutes. Just try it. See, see how far you get. If you, if you, if you think you're figuring it out, keep going. You know, if you get stuck, by all means, stop uh, messing with it and 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 watch the video, and we'll go through it together. But it's really useful to to think about these things on your own and try it yourself first, because it's it's way, when you struggle, that's when it, you, 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 it things start to click and you start to think about things and, and learn. All right. So I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go through it now. So basically, this is the current price. 
that is going to be increased by 4%. So to calculate the increase, I have to calculate the increase, don't I? And to get the increase, don't I have to get 4% of 298, right? And um, <coughs> isn't 4% 4 per 100? 4% means 4%. Cent, cent is the Latin word for 100. It's 4 out of 100. And that as a decimal, of course, is 0 0.04. 4 in the 100 spot, right? So 4% is as a decimal is 0 0.04. Of means what? What does of mean? Multiply times 2.98. Right, so I've got 0 0.4 multiplied by 2.98. So we need to calculate that. Well, let's do that then. Um, well, I guess I could just yeah, do here. 2.98, 0 0.04, multiply. Okay. 4 eights, 32, carry to 3. 4 nines, 36 and 3. 39, carry to 3. 4 twos is 8 and 3 is 11. And um, isn't it weird? You're kind of tempted to put the decimal point here, but that would be completely wrong. Completely wrong answer. Because we're multiplying, we need to count all of the decimal places in the in the question. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The decimal point goes all the way over here, everybody. And you, when you add decimals, you see, when you add decimals, the decimal point goes underneath because you add the units, you add the tenths, you add the hundredths. That makes sense. But when you're multiplying, you actually have to count the number of decimal spaces. So the answer is 0 0.1192. Okay. So the increase amount <coughs> is 0 0.1192. So that's what what the increase is okay so that is pretty much 11 cent oh it's almost 12 cent isn't it if you think about it so we have to get the new price now how are we going to get the new price well we've got to take the old price 298 and don't we have to add the increase onto it and when you add decimals, that's when you put the decimal point underneath each other, isn't it? So a zero here, a zero here. Got to have the decimal point underneath each other. And if you add all this together, and look, I have units, tenths, hundredths, thousands, and ten thousands. So if I go ahead and add, I get this number. 3.0992 now that is the exact answer that uh, the new price is three dollars and uh, you know how many cents is that I mean this is nine cent it's actually you know almost ten cent isn't it but if we were to round this to the nearest cent we would be rounding to the nearest hundredth. So how would you round to this uh, point, to this sp place? So round it up, right? Because the next digit is a 9, so you're going to round this up, and that becomes a 10. So don't you have $3.10? And that would be the new price. Does that make sense? Now, example three, fiber content. A regular loaf of bread has 80% fewer grams of fiber per loaf than a high fiber brand of bread. If the high fiber brand has 72 grams of fiber per loaf, how many grams does the regular loaf contain? Hmm, press pause and try and do this yourself. Okay, press pause and try and do this yourself. So a loaf of bread is a pound, basically, a pound of bread, right? 
uh, which we don't need to know. But um, so I hope you've given it a try and a thought about it at least. Now we want to figure out how many grams does the regular loaf contain, and the regular loaf has eighty percent fewer grams than than this. So what we have to do is to um, figure out what is 80% of 72 grams, okay? And the reason we do that is because the regular has 80% fewer grams. So we're, this is the kind of, um, the we're figuring out basically the fewer amount uh, of grams if, when we're getting this. So the fewer amount is, so we get 80% of 72 and then we use that, we're actually going to subtract then aren't we? We're going to subtract that and find how much the regular has. So first we have to get 80% of that. So 80% as a decimal, can you turn 80% into a decimal? So turn all of this into an expression, a math expression. 80% is 80 per 100, 80%, which of course is 0 0.80 or 0 0.8, even simpler, right? So 0 0.8 of means multiply, multiply by 72, so 0 0.8 times 72, right? So let's multiply those. 8 times 2, 16, carry the 1. 8 times 7, 56, and 1, 57. How many decimal places in the question? When I'm multiplying, I count the decimal places. 1, and I put one, that, that number here. 1 decimal place in the answer. 57.6. The fewer amount is 57.6 grams. So what we figure it says okay the regular loaf has 80% fewer grams so an 80% of 72 is 57.6 so it means the regular loaf has 57.6 grams fewer grams of fiber fewer than the other one so how do you calculate the um, um, the amount of grams of fiber in the regular loaf of bread. How do you figure that out? Well, it's got 80% fewer, and 80% is this amount. So don't you take the um, don't you take the uh, the high fiber amount, 72, and subtract what? Thought you subtract the 57.6, right? Now, of course, when we subtract decimals, we need the decimal points above each other, don't we? And we write the 72 as 72.0. Okay, so we get lots of decimal practice in this chapter. So press pause and subtract this and see what you get, and then check on the video, see if you get the same thing. No calculators, please. Calculators will not help you in any way. And if you, if you get if you get good at all this uh, by hand arithmetic in this class, once again, you'll be definitely prepared for the next class. So we can't subtract zero. Subtract six won't work. We've got to borrow from here. That becomes a one, and this becomes a ten. So ten minus six, four. And uh, 1 minus 7 won't work. So we've got to borrow from this guy. He becomes a 6. And uh, that becomes 11. So 11 minus 7, um, 4. 6 minus 5, 1. And the decimal, you're subtracting, so the decimal point just stays underneath each other right, like that, right? So grams of fiber in a regular low, 14.4 grams, right? Is the answer.